to slightly cheerier matters, if you're like me, there's nothing better than watching a feel-good TV show about love, friendship, and the human spirit. Yes, I'm talking about HBO's summer hit, Chernobyl. <laughs> The show, which examines the 1986 Chernobyl nuclear disaster, has been a huge success. It's won major acclaim for accurately portraying Cold War-era Ukraine, right down to the British accents. <laughs> but the show also made me realize something important, and it's the subject of a new segment we call Let Me Explain. <laughs> okay, here it is. Chernobyl is the solution to climate change. What are Let you talking explain. about? That's... 87% of the world's electricity is from fossil fuels. And by my math, that is not great. No. Mm -hmm. But there is a solution. And it's the same thing that melted all those dudes in the first episode of Chernobyl. Nuclear energy. <laughs> Let me explain. What's worse, a Chernobyl every 30 years or a global climate disaster all day, every day? Now, I can see the looks of disgust on some of your faces, but let me explain. What do France and Sweden have in common, besides Miguel being banned from both countries? Honestly, it was worth it. It was the best vacation I ever had. They both have some of the lowest carbon emissions in the game, all thanks to nuclear power. Same goes for Belgium, Slovakia, Hungary, and you guessed it, Ukraine. Oh, wait. <laughs> Really? E even after Chernobyl? Sure. All you have to do is put the nuclear plants in places no one likes. Why do you think Ontario built their plant in Pickering? Oh. Ooh. And that's not the only advantage to nuclear meltdowns. What? Let me explain! <laughs> nuclear meltdowns can even reverse humanity's negative impact on the environment. How? By making large swaths of the world completely inhospitable to humans. You are not making a strong case that nuclear power is going to make things better. I never said it was good. I'm just saying it's less bad. And at this point, that's the best we can hope for. Climate change, two thumbs down. Nuclear meltdowns, three deformed claws up. Get into it. The Beaverton. Only on CTV.